Good morning. Hope you have completed the notes of uh, the previous lesson that we have dealt, and uh, you have read through the lessons, uh, lesson, and uh, ready to answer the questions that have uh, pr been provided at the end of the chapter. I'll give you time to speak about those questions. Uh, now let us move on to the next uh, uh, lesson, that is the thief's story. Before getting into the lesson, let me remind you, from next class onwards, we would be discussing the other textbook, that is uh, first flight. So be ready with that from the next class onwards. Today it is footprints without feet. Now, the thief's story. The thief's story narrates the story of a young boy about uh, 15 years old who earns a living by cheating and robbing others. So in the story we find him we find him on the lookout for a person uh, whom he can cheat and make money. So that's about the story and the author is the Rus Ruskin Bond. You might be familiar with uh, him. He uh, has written a number of children's books and he is the favorite author of children. Regarding uh, his history, he is an Indian author of British descent. He is from Britain but basically he is remaining in India. So an Indian author of British descent. And uh, the Indian Council for Child Education has recognized his role in the growth of children's literature. So we, we, uh, you yourself know that he has written a number of uh, books especially meant for children uh, in a very simple language. So he is a recognized figure uh, in children's literature and he is much recognized by the Indian Council for Child Education. And he is also considered to be an icon. Icon is a person whom people admire and can be considered as a symbol of a particular idea or uh, a way of life and so on. So he is considered as a, an icon among Indian writers. So how to write stories in a simple way, uh, make it, uh, how to make believable stories and so on. So. Uh, he is considered as a model by many of the Indian writers. And that's all about Ruskin Bond. And now to the lesson. The Thief's Story. A young boy makes friends with Anil. Anil trusts him completely and employs him. Does the boy betray his trust? That is what the story tells us. So this young boy who, is, who names himself as Hari Singh, is on the lookout for an ideal person whom he can uh, make friends, friends with and how he can cheat him and robbing of his uh, belongings. That is the story about. And this, uh, the person whom he finds is named as Anil. His name is Anil and he trusts him completely and he blindly believes this boy and the question is whether uh, the boy betrays his trust. Does he cheat him or not? That is what we are going to find in the story. I was still a thief when I met, met Anil. And though only 15, I was an experienced and fairly successful hand. So he was still a thief when he met Anil. That itself suggests that a change had come over him. And so uh, he, when he met Anil, he was still a thief. And he was 15 years old and an experienced and fairly successful hand at what? At robbing others. He was a successful thief. Anil was watching a wrestling match when I approached him. He was about 25, a tall, lean fellow. And he looked easygoing, kind and simple enough for my purpose. So he spotted Anil. Uh, when he was matching, I'm sorry, he was watching a wrestling match and we get a description about Anil. He was 25 years old, a tall and lean fellow and his nature looked like uh, an easygoing man who was kind and simple enough for
for his purpose that is what is his purpose to rob to cheat, cheat him and rob him so he was a simple hearted fellow an innocent one so that uh, uh, this boy can easily uh, cheat him i had him had much luck of late and i thought and thought i might be able to get into the young man's confidence so of late he hadn't got many chances to rob anyone and this man seemed innocent enough so that he can win his confidence only if he believes in this boy he can be uh, anil would take him into his trust and uh, anil would trust him and uh, give him an opportunity to rob uh, him and here goes a conversation between the two you look a bit of a wrestler yourself i said a little flattery helps in making friends so when you want to make friends friendship friend make someone your friend flatter him a bit and that would uh, make you uh, easy to establish a relationship with uh, that particular person so the same thing is applied here he praises uh, this man a bit you look a bit of a wrestler yourself you seem to be a good wrestler so do you it is the same with you also you also look like a good wrestler he replied which put me off which made me disappointed put me off means disappointed for a moment because at that time i was rather thin he didn't take the remark as a compliment because he was a rather uh, lean person a very thin person uh, uh, not so fat so wrestlers are usually fat guys so he took it as a uh, uh, not a compliment but uh, an insult well i said modestly i do wrestle a bit but he his aim is to win over this man so didn't he didn't give up he said that okay i wrestle a bit what's your name and he uh, anil asked for his name hari singh i lied i took a new name every month that kept me ahead of the police and my former employers so he often changed his name so that the police wouldn't trace him or none of the former employers he had been uh, working under several people and they had he had cheated them and left them with their belongings so uh, he wanted to avoid or dodge those persons and also the police so he kept on changing his name after this introduction anil talked about the well oiled wrestlers who were grunting lifting and throwing each other about i didn't have much to say anil walked away i followed casually so after this casual uh, uh, conversation they moved on to wrestling how they uh, the wrestlers moved uh, moved about how they grunted how they lifted and threw their op- opponent and so on and then anil just casually went off and what happened to this boy he just followed him hello again he said noticing that the boy is following him he just greets him i gave him my most appealing smile i want to work for you i said but i can't pay you i thought that over a, for a minute perhaps i had misjudged my man i asked can you feed me can you cook i can cook i lied again if you can cook then maybe i can feed you so there thus goes the conversation he wants to uh, make a gap so that he he could uh, squeeze into his house so he talks in such a way that uh, he could win the confidence of this man and uh, uh, and make allow him and make him allow uh, to uh, live with him so and finally they settled the matter by uh, so the this boy would cook for anil and that way uh, he would pay for him so if you can cook then maybe i can feed you he took me to his room over the jumna sweet shop and told me i could sleep on the balcony but the meal i cooked that night must have been terrible because anil gave it to a stray dog and told me to be off so the this agreement was soon broken why he cooked the worst meal and anul just gave it to a street dog and asked him to leave him but i just hung around the boy didn't agree with that idea he just uh, uh, moved around he didn't feel like going smiling in my most appealing way offering him the best smile that he could 
and he couldn't help laughing. This really made Anil laugh like in, in a thing. He took uh, the, the thief, the young thief as an innocent boy and so he, uh, he changed his opinion. Later he patted, on, patted me on the head and said, never mind, he would teach me to cook. So Anil agreed to teach the boy how to cook. He also taught me to write my name and said he would soon teach me to write whole sentences and to add numbers. I was grateful. I knew that once I could write like an educated man, there would be no limit to what I could achieve. So he finally agreed uh, to teach him how to cook and also agreed to teach him to write sentences as well as a little addition to. And this influenced the, uh, the young boy a lot. He knew that he was an illiterate. If, uh, already he was a successful thief. Uh, in addition to that, he, he learned to write and read and uh, to calculate. That would uh, make him an uh, even more successful thief. So he was uh, attracted towards this offer. It was quite pleasant working for Anil. I made the tea in the morning and then would take my time buying the day's supplies, usually making a profit about a rupee a day. I think he knew I made a little money this way, but he did not seem to mind. So this was his daily routine uh, after uh, joining Anna's household. So in the morning he would make tea and then go around buying things. And then when he, uh, while he was uh, uh, interested with buying things, he used to cheat Anil there and make, uh, used to make a little money, one or two rupees a day. But Anil, uh, the boy thinks that Anil was well aware of this, but still he didn't mind. It's after all only one or two rupees. Anil made money by fits and starts. What is fits and starts means not a steady income intermittently. Uh, at one time they, he would be getting uh, a, a, uh, a little money and for certain other days there would be no money and so on. So intermittently, uh, not a steady income. He would borrow one week, lend the next. Uh, so one, one week he would borrow from someone, the next week when he gets money, uh, he would lend, I mean he would give that money back. He kept worrying about his next check but as soon as it arrived, he would go out and celebrate. It seems he wrote for magazines a queer way to make a living. So this is how Anil made a living, not a steady income. So he always used to worry about this check that he expected to come. And when it arrived, he celebrated and, uh, uh, and just a while away the money uh, within seconds. And it seems he wrote for magazines. So the boy guessed that he, he is earning a living by writing. And he finds it a strange way. Queer means strange way to make a living. One evening he came home with a small bundle of notes. Saying he had just sold a book to a publisher. At night I saw him tuck the money under the mattress. So he had managed to get some money uh, uh, after publishing uh, his book and he tucked uh, it under its mattress. I had been working for Anil for almost a month and apart from cheating on the shopping had not done anything in my line of work. So he had been working with Anil for almost a month and besides cheating him when he was uh, interested uh, with shopping, uh, he hadn't done anything or, or he hadn't robbed him of uh, anything else other than the small business uh, of uh, cheating uh, him. So I had every opportunity for doing so. So he'd, he had every opportunity because Anil uh, trusted him blindly but still he didn't. Anil had given me a key to the door and I could come and go as I pleased. He was the most trusting person I had ever met. So he trusted him completely. He had given him the key and he was free to go out and come back as he pleased. And that is why it was so difficult to rob him. This trust that Anil had put on this little boy who was a thief made him difficult to rob or made him uh, so, uh, uh, so unwilling to cheat such an innocent person. It's easy to rob a greedy man, 
because he can afford to be robbed. But it's difficult to rob a careless man. Uh, sometimes he doesn't even notice he's been robbed and that takes all the pleasure out of the work. So he says that uh, uh, this is a, uh, a truth that he learnt over uh, the years. That is, it is easy to rob a greedy man because he has plenty. If he, we take a little, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. So he can be afford to be, he can afford to be robbed. But it's difficult to rob a careless man. Why? Because he, he won't even notice that he's, someone has taken uh, away his money. So the thrill is lost. So he, uh, he says that uh, a greedy man can, uh, can be easily robbed, whereas uh, a careless man can be robbed, but it, there is no thrill in that. Well, it's time I did some real work. I told myself, I am out of practice. I have been, I have not practicing my uh, skill for a long time. And if I don't take the money, he will only waste it on his friends. After all, he doesn't pay me. So his, he is uh, uh, just uh, thinking over this idea of cheating Anil. So he finally decides to cheat him. Why? Because it has been long time since he practiced his skill. And the second thing, if he doesn't steal him, when he when Anil gets money, he will just spend it on his friend. And after the third reason is, he doesn't pay him. He is not paying him anything. Just he is doing things, he is feeding him, that's all. Anil was asleep. A beam of moonlight stepped over the balcony and fell on the bed. I sat upon the floor considering the situation. So it was a well... A uh, well-lit night, uh, the moonlight was shining over the um, balcony and it fell on the bed. So everything was visible. He sat up on the floor. He's thinking over whether he should do it or not. If I took the money, I could catch the 1030 express to Lucknow. So if he uh, stole the money and left the place, he could catch the 1030 train, uh, which is to Lucknow. Slipping out of the blanket. I crept up to the bed. Anil was sleeping peacefully. His face was clear and unlined. Even I had more marks on my face. Though mine were mostly scars. So he slowly crept out of his bed and reached Anil's bed. And what was he doing there? He was unaware of what is happening and having a peaceful sleep. And his, he, he, this is the first time he's getting a closer look at his face. He says that his face was very clear and unlined. It can mean either it was wrinkle free or it can suggest uh, without any tensions. I had more marks on my face. Even when the boy considered his face and, uh, and found that he had more marks than this man of 25. And mostly were scars. My hand slid under the mattress, searching for the notes. When I found them, I drew them out without a sound. Anil sighed in his sleep and turned on his side towards me. So as soon as he drew this note out of the mattress and from uh, beneath the mattress, he just turned and he faced uh, this little boy. I was startled and quickly crawled out of the room. So it made him uh, jumped like anything. He was startled, shocked, and he just crawled out of the room. When I was on the road, I began to run. I had the notes at my waist, held there by the string of my pyjama. I slowed down to a walk and counted the notes. 600 rupees in 50s. So 600 rupees, uh, 50 rupee notes. That makes 30,000 rupees. I could live like an oil-rich Arab for a week or two. So he, as soon as he grabbed the money, he started running and tying it to the uh, string of its pajama. And then he slowed down to a walk and stood still and started counting the money. And he found that it was uh, 30,000 rupees, which would make him live like an oil-rich Arabs. Arabs are mainly associated with oil mining so he could live like an affluent man who is very wealthy. When I reached the station I did not stop at the ticket office. He didn't bother to take tickets. 
I had never bought a ticket in my life. Since he was a thief, he didn't bother to take a ticket. They just get a free ride, but dashed straight to the platform. The Lucknow Express was just moving out. The train had still to still to pick up speed, and I should have been able to jump on, jump into one of the carriages, but I hesitated. For some reason, I can't explain, and I lost the chance to get away. So by the time he reached the station, the train was moving slowly. He could easily jump into the uh, uh, in one of the carriage, but he hesitated. He didn't feel like doing it, uh, and finally the train left the station. When the train had gone, I found myself standing alone on the deserted platform. I had no idea where to spend the night. I had no friends, believing that friends were more trouble than help. And I did not want to make anyone curious by staying at one of the small hotels near the station. The only person I knew really well was the man I had robbed. Leaving the station, I walked slowly through the bazaar. So, uh, as soon as the train left, he was standing alone there. He was thinking over the situation, what to do, where to spend the night. And he says that he didn't have any idea where to spend the night as he had no friends. He considered friends uh, uh, as those who brought him trouble and uh, was of no use other than that. So, he didn't entertain friends and he didn't want to make others suspicious by staying uh, in a hotel. And so, uh, the only man he knew to a certain extent was this Anil. And so, uh, he just left the station and started walking towards the bazaar. Bazaar is market. In my short career as a thief, and I had made a study of men's faces when they had lost their goods. So, he had observed these people. Whenever he robbed someone, he just watched his face just to know, know, know his uh, response, how he responded to such a situation. And he, this is what he learned from that, uh, from his study of phases. The greedy man showed fear. The rich man showed anger. The poor man showed acceptance. So this is what he learned. Greedy man, when he realizes that someone has robbed him, he became uh, very afraid. He's afraid whether he would lose more. Why? Because he's greed, greedy. The rich man showed anger. The rich one showed arrogance. Who's, who, who is there who, 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 is, who is bold enough to rob me and so on? The rich man showed anger and the poor man has nothing to do. No one. He can't file a case. He just have to uh, he, the, 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 uh, accept what his fate is. So it is mere acceptance. But I knew that Anu's face when he discovered the theft would show only a touch of sadness, not for the laws of money, but for the laws of trust. But none of these would happen to uh, in, the, in the case of Anil. Why? Because he was a, an entirely different man. Uh, he valued trust more than uh, wealth or something like that. So when it comes to Anil's case, he would only become a bit sad. Why? Because not because he lost some money, but because someone had cheated him, someone whom he loved had cheated him. I found myself in the Maidan. So he, the boy was walking and thinking over this and now he had reached the uh, playground, Maidan. Sat down on a bench. The, the night was chilly. It was early November and a light drizzle added to my discomfort. So already it was nearing December. So it was a cold night and to add on to that, a there was a slight drizzle. What is drizzle? Shower. And this added to my comfort. It added to his. He felt so uncomfortable. Soon it was raining quite heavily. My shirt and pyjamas stuck to my skin and a cold wind blew the rain across my face. I went back to the bazaar and sat down in the shelter of the clock tower. The clock showed midnight. I felt for the notes. They were damp from the rain. So walking through the Maidan, he last sat on the bench and under the, uh, took refuge under the clock tower. And he started uh, checking the notes, uh, the rupees. 
and he was uh, wet, completely wet from the rain. Anil's money. So, so he is think, thinking over Anil's flight again. In the morning, he would probably have given me two or three rupees to go to the cinema. But now, I had it all. I had spoiled everything. I couldn't cook his meals, run to the bazaar, or learn to write whole sentences anymore. So I have spoiled my relationship with this good man. I had forgotten about them in the excitement of the theft. Whole sentences, I knew, could one day bring me more than a few hundred rupees. It was a simple matter to steal and sometimes just as simple to be caught. But to be a really big man, a clever and respected man, was something else. I should go back to Anil, I told myself, if only to learn to read and write. So he realized, a realization come over this little boy. He thought about the situation. He found that he is successful as a thief, but it is nothing. Uh, uh, cheating a man and robbing him of his belongings and maybe he would get caught. It is just a silly thing when compared to uh, a, a life of a noble man who is well respected in the society and who is educated. That means it takes an effort uh, to achieve such a position. So he, he, he left, he thought of uh, uh, just uh, quitting his ways and going back to uh, Anil and so that he can be an uh, 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 literate. I hurried back to the room feeling very nervous for it is much easier to steal something than to return it undetected. So he was even more nervous than uh, he was when he was about to steal the money. Why? Because it is easier to, to, to steal but it is really difficult to put something back uh, you have stolen undetected without being noticed by its owner that you had tried to steal it. I opened the door quietly, then stood in the doorway in clouded moonlight. So the light had become dim. Uh, Anil was still asleep. I crept to the head of the bed and my hand came up with the notes. I felt his breath on my hand. I remained still for a minute then my hand found the edge of the mattress and slipped under it with the notes. I awoke late uh, next morning to find that Anil had already made the tea. So it was such a tedious night. Uh, uh, it was such a horrible night for him. He hadn't got any sleep. It was almost a uh, uh, daybreak when he returned back to Anil's house and just slipped the back, uh, so slipped the rupees back under the mattress and he slept like anything. And so when he woke up in the morning, Anil was ready with the tea. He stretched out his hand towards me. There was a 50 rupee note between his fingers. See, uh, the boy expected only one, two or three rupees and look at the amount he had given him, 50 rupees. Such a drastic difference in those days, not uh, in the days of, uh, at, in present times. My heart sank. He was totally shattered because this, it was this uh, innocent man, this considerate man that he had tried to cheat. So he was totally uh, uh, desperate. I thought I had been discovered. So he uh, believed that, the boy believed that definitely because the notes were still wet, he would definitely uh, uh, sus suspect this boy and would be punished. But the treatment Anil gave him was entirely different. Uh, my heart sank. I thought I had been discovered. I made some money yesterday, he explained. Now you will be paid regularly. Since I have money with me, I will definitely pay you from today onwards. My spirits rose and he, he became so lively and excited. And spirits here stands for the state of mind. So he was so happy. Uh, uh, but when I took the note, I saw it was still wet from night's rain. And here goes Anil again. Today we'll start writing sentences, he said. He knew, but neither his lips nor his eyes showed anything. So Anil very well knew that this boy had tried to cheat him. But, but neither, none of his expressions uh, betrayed Anil. He, he was very careful to see that the boy doesn't know that 
doesn't get the feeling that he was aware about what what, what had happened i smiled at anil in the most appealing way see in the beginning he smiled and the most appealing way but that was a made up uh, smile but here uh, when he when he smiled at the end of the uh, lesson what is it and the smile came by itself without any effort so that was a natural smile and a sincere smile and so most probably the boy might have ended up his career as a thief and might have led a, a very sincere and upright life just because of the treatment of uh, anil now uh, i have already sent the notes uh, regarding the questions there and now a few other questions are here think about it see these questions are meant to be thought about by the students and to talked about uh, by the students so this uh, commands your personal response this is where you are expected to come forward with your own opinion so let us uh, uh, think about the first one what are hari singh's reaction to the prospect of receiving an education what is hari singh is the thief's name what is his reactions to the prospect of receiving education do they change over the time uh, they, they have provided a hint compare for example he thought this is his opinion about education in the beginning of the story i knew that once i could write like an educated man there would be no limit to what i could achieve with these later thoughts so later in the uh, at the end of towards the end of the lesson we find him uh, talking about education what is it whole sentences i knew could one day bring me more than a few hundred rupees it was a simple matter to steal and sometimes just as simple to be caught but to be a, a really big man a clever and respected man was something else what makes him return to anal so the question is is there a change in opinion regarding uh, the concept of education uh, of this little boy uh, that's the question so you can see that in the beginning he is uh, uh, he tells us education or learning uh, uh, how to write whole sentences full sentences complete sentences would equip him in his profession of stealing but later he says that stealing is nothing any fool can do that and uh, at and at any moment you may be caught but it is it doesn't require any amount of effort but it really require a lot of effort from a person but from the part of a particular person if he wants to lead an upright and if he wants to be a noble citizen of someone who is respected in the society that is what which commands great effort from the part of an individual so his concept had entirely changed in the beginning he is concerned about making money but towards the end we find the boy interested in living as a as an upright man as a sincere and honest man what makes him return to anal the same thing the change in uh, his concept of uh, uh, life uh, that had made him return to anal these questions are not discussed in the uh, i haven't sent the notes but please note down the points by the side now why does not why does not anil hand the thief over to the police what makes him uh, uh, to behave in a different way he he very well treats him as his own son no he is not treating him as a servant he just wants uh, he just wish for the welfare of that particular child that is why he is easily forgiving the boy and making him uh, uh, change his ways do you think most people would have done so no uh, most of uh, the people would just grab the particular uh, person and just put him uh, in police lock up and give him a, 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 a an act punishment in what ways is anil different from such employers uh, anil anil's outlook or anil treats this servant or boy as a as his own boy he is very considerate we can say he is an empathetic person he takes care of the boy and he wish for the welfare of the boy and so he gives him another opportunity to change his ways and 
okay so uh, we find him as uh, a man with a different outlook now uh, the next uh, set of questions do you think people like anil and hari singh are found only in fiction or are there such people in real life do you find such people in real life yes where uh, uh, people like hari singh can be spotted maybe you can get more of them in the society but people like anil they are very rare to be honest now do you think it is a significant detail sorry do you think it a significant detail in the story that anil is a struggling writer <coughs> does this explain his behavior in any way it is very significant because a man who get a steady income he can very well pay for, pay a particular uh, person who is working under him but here he finds he is not uh, getting a steady income so he is not sure whether he would be getting enough money to pay him but still he afford him telling them telling him that he would teach him how to cook and he would feed him and so on and he is very considerate uh, and he uh, takes care of the boy, uh, boy by teaching him how to write and uh, 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 add and so on so uh, this uh, can, does this explain his behavior in any way yes he is a happy and contented man who is uh, surviving with what he has he is happy to accommodate other persons also and make a happy living have you met anyone like hari singh that's the uh, and uh, uh, personal question that is left to you can you think and imagine the circumstances that can turn a 15 year old boy into a thief what might have led that 15 year old boy hari singh to become a thief yes of course it can be financial crisis and then uh, the, the 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 background in which he had lived he is used to such type of life where there is a arrogance and uh, no mercy is there uh, no ideals are there he is brought up in such a background so we don't find him to have any uh, no information about his parents uh, uh, is given there in the lesson so maybe he is an orphan who was free to roam around lead a life of his choice no one to correct him so the uh, background in which he had lived and also the financial crisis might have led the boy to become a thief now the last question where is the story set <coughs> what about the background of the story where is it happening you get clues from the names of the persons and places mentioned in it so we get names of uh, persons like uh, anil and hari singh what do they suggest of course they are indian names no we can't we can't we don't get a singh in somewhere some other country singh from other countries and also anil also is typically indian name so the name suggests that and the places places are not mentioned there no place is mentioned there which language or languages are spoken in these places what language is mentioned is spoken do they speak english or some other language how do they converse with each other anil and hari singh there are clues like uh, words like bazaar which is typically from which language of course it is a hindi word and uh, another one bazaar and maidan 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 can even mean a, a park or a playground so those are hindi terms and you get the wrestling wrestling is uh, typically indian uh, uh, then and so on you get uh, rupee rupee is also indian currency and so uh, the answer to this is this is set in indian background so this is ruskin born though he is basically from britain he had settled here and so he is used to indian uh, way of life and so he presents his characters in an indian background and so hope it is clear uh, from the next class onwards i will leave such questions to you i will be asking Uh, such questions and uh, seeking your opinion because these are not meant for the teachers to answer this is uh, entirely meant for uh, from the students point of view what do they you think about these uh, uh, questions which are uh, suggested by uh, the textbook <coughs> and so 
this is entirely left to you to answer uh, just uh, when you go through the lessons just be attentive uh, when i read through the lines read the lines have form a picture in your mind so that everything is clear uh, in your mind if you <coughs> understand the lessons in such a way you would have an opinion for yourself uh, that would equip you to face the interview board in the future so have your own opinion it doesn't matter but uh, whereas the questions i give you there you can't have your own answer they they are purely textual questions where you have to base your answers according to the text what is suggested by the text that is what you have need to reproduce there but these questions command your opinion your opinion is sought here so be prepared to answer the questions i think it's time and we'll stop for the day and once more i remind you to come up with uh, the other textbook that is put sorry flight uh, first flight and be ready with that we'll continue with that thank you